Alrighty, so today was a really exciting day. We just had two good trades on Square and Tesla, and boy did they deliver. So our first trade of the day was a swing trade from Square. At the end of the day, I picked up a 155 strike call because look, we had this nice move up. This is the four hour chart, so each candle represents four hours of price action. We had a nice move up, sideways consolidation, and then right over here, we started to, we started to really pop. And this morning we were just really shooting up and Thinkorswim was glitchy again. And I, I couldn't even see the chart. I was just looking at the candles, looking to take profits and SQ started to really push up. And I just took my contract off right a little bit after 154. And then look, SQ had a nice move up and this is textbook. Let's get to the regular drawing tool. This is textbook. We had a nice move up. Oh, I just bought another square, another share of SQ. We'll talk about that later, but we had a nice move up and then a perfect triangle pattern. It doesn't get any more textbook than this. Nice, tight consolidation. It means buyers aren't really willing to, or people aren't willing to sell at these higher prices. If they're not willing to sell at these higher prices, there's going to be new price discovery and the stock is going to move higher. So we actually rebought that 155 strike call right about here. And we got a nice push up. I had this daily resistance at 155.70 and then we pushed nice and through it and I just took the contract off. And what I did was instead I started reloading with shares. My average cost is about 155 and SQ looking really good. Probably about to break all time highs during this video. This is live as the market is moving like crazy. So SQ, bull, um, we entered at 155. Our stop loss was about 154 and we took it off at 156 and that was a nice good let's check out the the trades right here and that sq that was 332 into 512 that was a nice solid 180 dollars on sq so back to thinkorswim so we had a nice push up right after that solid bull flag and then sq just started moving sideways all day grinding higher we just popped this and filled me on a share at 158 and if we break these all-time highs at 158.50, the sky is the limit. So what we did, since we we're so close to getting those all-time highs, is we reloaded with a debit spread. And so what we did was we bought the 160 call and sold the 162 and a half call. If it can load up. So we just paid $39 for this. It's only up $4, but it'll start it'll start collecting some good premium. So just have a drop now. There we go. We're up $14 on it, so nice 33%. And then what we also did with SQ was we reloaded a longer term debit spread if, for if that breakout gets really some good traction. So we paid 70 for this. The max credit we can receive is 500. The max profit we can receive is 500 minus 70, which would be $430. So that was SQ riding it uh watch out for we'll, we'll be making more trades on it if the spy can hold up which it looks like it is it's popping a bull flag right now so our next trade of the day was tesla t-s-l-a and you're gonna, probably going to hear tesla all over the news people going crazy all that great stuff and this morning we're we we're talking about tesla one of our members was holding a debit spread a 1900 slash 1910 debit spread and we got a nice push up tesla went sideways forming a nice bull flag and right about here i was saying oh boy i'm tempted to add to tesla i was saying it i was thinking it but i'm a weenie i'm a weenie and i didn't add to tesla i just held held my debit spread that we talked about in the tesla technical analysis and we just got huge rip ups nice moves look at this bull flag bull flag right here pop Bull flag pop. Every one of these slants, I was saying, man, it, we, we should just be adding up right here. You add right here. You enter at 1900. You add over 1930. You add to your position over 1950. You add over 1965. You add over 1975. All while you just raise up your stop. Your average cost goes up, but you can just raise your stop and your position is sitting nicely. So we just took our debit spread that we talked about in the Tesla technical analysis part two, and we just took it off at 1990. I had to get to a meeting. Tesla probably will still keep going up. Um, remember that Tesla should be hitting about 2100 based off the bull flag extensions. And so Tesla, that was $116 into $532 for a solid 416. And that kind of made my day. We also did have to exit our Nike swing trade since SPY gapped down. 
So for the future, we're swing trading a decent sized position in SQ. And I still have my VIX call, which I should have taken off this morning, but I was fiddling with Thinkorswim. I figured, ah, it's okay to have the hedge on if we can, if the SPY is still selling, if the SPY happens to sell off, we'll be happy we had the hedge. But um, yeah, we're, we're down about $16 on that. I'll be sure to manage risk or cut it uh, if we start to, if we start to completely rip up and this sell-off was completely negated. So thanks for tuning in. See ya. Keep on